other side of this launch. They will end the cast after the booster landing. Yep, as is tradition. Yep, yep, so it's not going to take too long. We'll be back to trains in a moment. Lupin, and thanks for joining us for tonight's okay. Starlink mission. If you joined us for our previous launch attempt, you might know that we had an abort called out at the T minus five second mark yesterday due to an alert on the second stage. Talk but the team for pressurizing for strong pack retract. But the team performed checkouts today, and despite the lack of use due to the heavy fog at Vandenberg, all is looking good for tonight's launch attempt. On your screen right now is a live, very foggy view of our Falcon 9 rocket on the pad at Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. <laughs> and just That's to help awesome. you visualize it, we've added an outline of the rocket to give you a better idea of what we're supposed to be seeing at the pad. Now, while they won't be visible, the clamp arms will be opening just below the payload fairing. The clamp arms are There's attached to the transporter somewhere. erector, or TE, and that is the truss structure next to the rocket that is used for rollout and to route propellants and electrical power to the vehicle in preparation for launch. I love how they just kept it Once up those there. clamp arms are fully opened, the <laughs> strong back next to the rocket will then begin the, to move away from the rocket in preparation for the They usually show that for off. a second and then it goes away. As a reminder, tonight's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 48th launch of the year and 247th it overall mission to date. Currently at the T minus 3 minutes 37 seconds mark, the range is ready to support. And even though it's very foggy at Vandenberg, weather is looking great for an on time liftoff oh, at 9.09 yeah. .09 p.m. Ads. Pacific time. I run ads, guys, so people don't. I run the pre rolls now so people don't get pre rolls when the rocket actually launches. So you can watch the coverage uninterrupted. If I had my choice, I would never run ads. I hate ads, but best of a bad situation. Hey, Taco! Where's the rocket? Uh, it's the stealth, stealth, uh, radar absorbent. Stage one lock load is complete. And there's that call hey, that stage one lock is complete on our Falcon. Thank you. On our Falcon vehicle, the Logo. Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with RP-1 and locks, and we're awaiting completion of locks load on the second stage in about 50 seconds from now. Now, it'll probably be pretty hard to make out the white the clouds around works. the Falcon vehicle due to the fog, but there are white clouds around our Falcon rocket, which is the chilled gas above the LOX tank liquid surface that we vent overboard to maintain pressure in the tank as needed. And when that gas comes out into the California air, the humid that, moist air condenses into clouds and water. Coming up in just about 20 seconds, we should hear a call out that LOX loading is complete on the second stage. But yes, I understand what you're saying. See, username, I'm the opposite. If an advertiser if an advertiser does their homework, so like if I get a Ford advertisement, somebody did their homework, 
all right? Or just use my is mining data in those that I like for burb. But see, I don't mind that as much. It's like getting ads for stuff that I land don't on our drone ship. About. Of course I still love you, which I'm is like, currently yep. stationed in the Pacific that. Ocean. As many of you may already know, successfully recovering parts of the rocket allows SpaceX to refine the most expensive pieces, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. A percentage of the time is very Coming up in about foggy. 30 seconds, we it's should hear a call out over the, the nets that Falcon 9 is in startup, and this means that the flight computers the sun, have taken over the launch countdown. When the sun comes up, it, it uh, evaporates all this condensation. Late call on Stage station. 2 locks load is complete. That sound. And there's that call out that stage two locks loading is complete on our Falcon rocket. It is now off, loaded right? with one million pounds of propellant. Yeah, it's a little bit off. Yeah. Falcon 9 is in startup. Oh, and there's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. And left. in just a few moments, we should hear our launch director or LD give the final go for launch. I've been sitting down for 12 hours. I'm going to stand up. LD is go for launch. launch director. And there's Ports. that call out that go. the launch director has given the final go to proceed for tonight's launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 15 Starlink satellites into space. All right, let's see what we got. I'm standing there. Can't you tell? T minus 30 seconds. 25. Already did T minus 15 seconds. 15. Sounds impressive over here. We should turn it on. 9, 8, 7, 6. We're basically just going to see a flash here. 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We have liftoff. Go Falcon 9. Go SpaceX. Go Starlink through 615. Watch, it's going to come out of the clouds. Oh, <laughs> yo, that's awesome. Vehicle is pitching down range. <laughs> that's so Stage cool. Stage one propulsion is nominal. That was sick, man. Come on At now. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4 Thank East from California's more. Vandenberg Space Force Base at 9.09 p.m. Pacific time. The, sky, the next major sweet. milestone coming up is Max-Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends the through the shot, Earth's please. atmosphere. Power telemetry yeah, nominal. Sure and we should hear that call out. signal, Hawthorne. We should hear that call out for Max-Q in about 20 vehicle seconds from now. 17 months. Thanks, buddy. I... You stay, you stay far away from me. You hear me far away. Max Q. And there's that call-up for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses. 115. Everything's looking good. Oh, nice shot. Perfect. Now we're about a minute Come away. Back. From Engine chill has started. We're about a minute Second away from a series of events. Timing. These are MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and lastly, fairing step separation. Step Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. This is followed by stage Dude, separation, that, which is when the first out. and second stages the separate from one another. We will then have second engine start out, one, or SES-1, which is where we light the Merlin going. vacuum engine on the second this stage. Rain, the and lastly, we'll have fairing separation, way. which is when As the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So keep an eye out for all of these events, which will happen in pretty quick succession. What a nice shot. You can see the plume is slightly asymmetric right here because it's it's pitched up, flying like that. But as Miko comes, it'll it'll even out and the plume will start to get very symmetrical. Right there. Okay, stand by. There's the throttle down. Engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Stage, Stage separation. separation. Confirmed. There we go. Good shot of the upper stage. And back ignition. And as you just Upper saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, stage sep, and SES-1, and we're coming up on fairing separation from the second fairing stage separation. in just a few moments. Boop. Fairing separation. And there's that fairing separation. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond.
Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven and are both flying for their sixth time tonight. Discovery, go at throttle up. The it's next major milestone coming up stage. is the entry burn on the first stage, which is one of two burns it'll go through to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. Hey, Snackless. What's going on, buddy? Rocket goes burr. Everything's looking good here. Dude, look at the Terminator. The Terminator line. Oh, man. I am glad I stayed up for this. Look at that. You don't get shots like that. That's being that's being live streamed, man. You see that? Come on, flip back to the other camera so we can see the sun. Thank you. Oh, dude. Looks like a Pink Floyd album. That's awesome. That's that's pretty pogger. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Good call out there that both vehicles are currently following nominal trajectories. On the left side of your screen is our Falcon 9 first stage, currently on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. And on the right side of your screen is an amazing view of our MVAC engine on the awesome. second stage of Falcon, currently carrying our 15 Starlink satellites to orbit. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is currently continuing its burn, which will last another four minutes. What's up, Devlin? How you doing? Dude! Yo! This is album cover good, man. Look at that picture. Oh, that's great. Discovery. I'm clapping in a room alone. That's weird. Still doing it, though. You can see the solid nitrogen propagating off the, the reaction control thrusters up there. First stage is firing the thrusters to make sure it's angled correctly for re-entry. And when you outgas nitrogen into a vacuum... As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink to mission marks SpaceX's 48th mission just this year and 247th overall mission. That's what's going on on the left side of your screen there. You see little Entry burn on the first there. stage Flying is set to side. occur about two and a half minutes from now. And this is where we'll light up, the, uh, light up three of the nine Merlin 1D engines in order to slow the rocket down as Arctic. it descends through the Earth's atmosphere. Months. Thanks, buddy. All right. Is that a 177 Apogee on the first stage? Whoa. That's really up there, man. It was at once it wasn't 180. Holy balls, man. That's wow. That's really high up for the first As stage. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen yeah, is a view of our Falcon 9 first down. stage, and on the right is a view of our MVAC engine on the second stage, currently carrying 15 Starlink satellites to orbit. The 15 satellites on tonight's mission will be joining the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. This entry burn is going to be quite long here. Nah, Nick, not at all. said the booster forlorn nice yeah we if they get if we get uninterrupted signal we're good like this we're in for some pretty awesome shots see right there right where the first stage is now the altitude that it's at that's where it usually goes like 133 for starlink launches this one was super lofted in addition to our live view of the, the MVAC engine on your screen there on, at the bottom of the second stage, we also are getting live telemetry of the Falcon 9 first stage located at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and live telemetry of the Falcon 9 second stage at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. So what happens here is the first stage is going to fire its engines, Midge. It's going to fire its engines. When it fires its engines, it's going to slow itself down. But also... The engines are going to push away the re-entry heating. You'll see it right here in a second. They're going to push away the re-entry heating. Both vehicles when they are on do, a nominal trajectory. The exhaust coming out of the engines acts as the heat shield. Stage one entry burn startup. And, and there's that call out for the stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Seriously, that's the heat stage shield. Stage two FTS has saved. 
The rocket, the rocket engine's own exhaust is the heat shield for Falcon 9. That's what's going to protect it. But yeah, see, this burn is extremely long because that lofty Stage 1 entry burn shut down. That's a really and long And there you burn. just heard the call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And yeah, the picture's probably going to break up because you're going to see some plasma um, accumulation on the grid vids right there. That's a beautiful shot. Look at that shot. These new Just cameras that they have, up. man, I tell you, that is a very, very crisp image. That's nuts. This is really fast. Plasma knife. That's a knife, mate. Discovery, go and drop That's up. That's a knife. Taco. Stage one transonic. Stage one's transonic. We got second stage engine. And there cutoff. you heard that important call out for Seco one or second engine cutoff one. And we're now waiting on that call out for good orbit. Should be here in a nominal orbit insertion. Coming call. up in just a few moments will be the start of our landing burn. Nominal orbit burn. insertion. There we go. On good the Falcon call. 9 first stage. First stage is going to start the landing burn. Stage one landing burn. Oh, this is going to be close. And there's the start of the Falcon 9 first stage landing 800, burn. 800, 700, 600, 500. Slow it down. Oh, come on. Stage one landing leg deploy. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Touchdown. And there you heard and saw Dude, our Falcon 9 first stage has quick. successfully launched and landed Man. for its 10th time. <laughs> Today's landing marks our 208th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. <laughs> and with confirmation of second engine cutoff, good orbit, and first stage landing, Holy that'll wrap up our balls, coverage for that now. Was quick. As a note, payload deployment is expected to occur wow. around the T plus 15 Dude, minute mark, but due to a lack of ground station coverage, we likely won't be able to confirm until a bit later. So if you're interested, check out Whoa. the SpaceX Twitter account for updates. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Hold on. No, 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 no. Pause. Pause. Look at the dogleg trajectory out of Vandenberg. Oh, my goodness. Bro, you, you, you guys understand that Falcon 9 can move people to the ISS from Vandenberg if it can fly that trajectory. If it can fly that trajectory out of Vandenberg, it can absolutely get people to the ISS. It's an eastward trajectory out of Vandenberg, yes? Isn't that cool? Now, I'm not trying to speculate, but this is just my opinion, okay? SpaceX got the lease for Slick 6 at Vandenberg. Now, they're probably, they, they, they most likely did it because of the mobile service tower for Falcon Heavy. But Slick 6 also has a fixed service structure next to it. Just saying. I don't think they ever would, but, you know, it could change. But I I'm, I'm thinking it's possible to launch people from California to the ISS. It is absolutely possible. It was near overhead where most of them felt so far away in comparison. That for sure spooked some people in San Diego. Dude, it was close. That, look at the trajectory, man. That's nuts. Isn't Dragon a lot heavier, though? Not, not over Starlink V2 minis. No way. Ask me what this is. Is that the rod? That is the upper stage, too legit. Yep. That's the upper stage, dude. Mm -hmm. You could have wish you could have been here. Yeah, it left it it left a jellyfish, didn't it? That was incredible. I got an amazing photo. I'll post it in a second. Late Mavans here. How was the beginning of the launch? Well, we couldn't really see anything, friend, but but after that though. We have whipped off. Go south Tim, nine. I go over here. Go straight back. Go starwing. Vehicle is pitching downrange. How's that? Stage one propulsion is nominal. 
go. That was lift go. off. Really really didn't really see that. But right after this, though, it was 43 inclined username. I know. I know. Vehicle or, pitching it, was, it was not 43. Yeah, it entered in 43 degree Stage inclined one orbit. You can absolutely is get people to the ISS with a, with a dragon from Vandenberg. Can you believe that? Like, I'm not trying to get the people in California's hopes At up. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4 East from, from California's from Vandenberg, Vandenberg Space Force Base at 9.09 p.m. I'm Pacific time. The next be. major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences then, the greatest the amount of external stresses space, as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Telemetry nominal. And we should. So keep an eye out for all of these events, which will happen in pretty quick succession. I still just want my polar once around. Yeah, yeah, who doesn't? How nuts would a geo launch from Vandenberg be? It might be able to do it with a supersynchronous insertion username. So, and then we got some nice spicy shots of the Terminator line. Look at that. Oh, frick you, man. Look at how crisp that shot is. Dude. Are you saying there's a chance to finally get a crew launch at Vandenberg? Bren, all I'm saying is that... All I'm saying is that if that thing can fly on that trajectory, it absolutely can launch people to the ISS. Yeah, absolutely. frickin lutely I don't think they ever would, but you, you absolutely could. Zero, you saw it from the backyard? From your backyard? That's awesome. Is that crazy or what? Karma, you saw it? Dude, look at how spicy this entry bur this landing burn is. Look Coming at these up in numbers. just a few moments will be the start of our landing burn on, orbit insertion. on the Falcon 9 first stage. Right there. It's a mile off the ground. Right there. And going 800 kilometers. <laughs> Dude, that's not slow. What is that? What's 800 kilometers? That's like uh, 550 miles an hour. That's really fast. Stage one landing burn. And there's the start About of the Falcon 9 first stage landing Man, burn. Devin, we also heard that call out hot, for good dude. orbit. It came in hot. Like, they call me Dr. Love. Stage one landing mode deploy. They call me Dr. Love. Call me Dr. Love. Call stage one landing nope. confirmed. Right, cool. And there you heard and saw our that Falcon 9 awesome. first stage has successfully launched and landed for its 10th time. Today's landing marks our 208th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon sweet, 9 dude. and Falcon Heavy missions. And Can with confirmation of second engine again? cutoff, single good engine, orbit, single, and first stage landing, that'll wrap up our coverage for now. No, no, that As a note, payload engine, deployment is expected to occur around the T plus 15 minute mark, Whoa, but due to a lack of ground station coverage, we likely won't be able to confirm awesome. until a bit later. So if you're interested, check out the SpaceX that Twitter cool. account for updates. So that was Starlink As always, thanks for watching, and very, we'll see you again good. soon. I'm really happy I stayed up for that. Guys, let's, uh, that's the end of the cast. They don't, they don't got nothing for us here, but those visuals were... Mint! So, we're gonna jump back into Derail Valley, finish up this shunting mission, and I think we'll